Disculpe, señorita, ¿cómo se llama este barrio de Oaxaca? Jalatlaco. También estamos conociéndolo. Oh, sí, ¿de También. dónde? Jalatlaco, sí, es muy seguro. Sí. Parece que alguien rompió la ventana aquí. What a beautiful house. ¿Cómo se escribe? Gracias. Okay, so we are in Jalatlaco, which is a really quaint, beautiful neighborhood of Oaxaca. It's just outside of Oaxaca Centro or proper, whatever you'd like to call it. I dropped off my laundry here yesterday. So that's the first thing I want to do is pick that up. Well, make sure they're open first and then I'll pick it up. Maybe I don't necessarily want to carry it with me while I film Halatlaco. Well, at least let's make sure she's open. It was on this street. But you can see here, like there's really beautiful street art here on the walls. So many of these walls are covered with beautiful street art. That's one of the, the highlights of Mexico really in general is the street art. I think the lavanderia is here, senor. Señor, la vendería es aquí, ¿sí? Sí, aquí. Sí, gracias. Sí. Okay. Okay. They got a bunch of dogs here, so they're probably gonna bark. Ah, sorry. Hola. Buenas tardes. But yeah, we're just like in someone's house. Hola. Buenas tardes. Hola. Hello, dogs. Oh, okay. Well, entonces, puedo regresar porque quiero caminar en Jalatlaco un poco y grabar un video de YouTube. Gracias. Okay, voy a regresar en como 20 minutos, ¿está bien? Gracias. Okay, so I told her I would return in about 20 minutes. I'll show you guys this neighborhood. So it's just full of these like cobblestone streets and it's really beautiful actually. And there was a church here yesterday that was, they had, I think it was the, the Dia de Santo Domingo or something. So there was like a lot of people at this church last night. Some more of the street art. Yeah, Oaxaca is a very beautiful city, very quaint, very, seems historic, and it's not too populated, so you've got pretty um, relaxed feel here. It also feels pretty safe. Um, in fairness, I've really stuck to the centro area and haven't walked around at night in some of the outskirts. Where I did here, it can get a little bit dicey, but there's no sense in going there, right? What's, what's the point? Unnecessary danger. Maybe at some point though, I will get to a point in my YouTubing where I kind of want to go to the, the Barrios Peligrosos. So. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. 
Buenas. Este, este barrio es, es seguro, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Sí, y también estamos conociéndolo. Oh, sí, ¿de también dónde, estamos, de dónde son? Del Estado de México, venimos. Ah, ok. El Estado de, de México Sur. Oh, el okay. Estado de México. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. ¿Y están de vacaciones de aquí? vacaciones. Ah, qué y bien. Estamos conociendo al igual que... Qué bien, también estoy de vacaciones. ¿De vacaciones de dónde nos visitas? Uh, soy de, 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 de dónde soy? De Los Ángeles, California. De Los Ángeles. Sí, ah, sí. Bienvenido, México. Sí, muchas gracias. Me gusta México mucho. Ah, qué sí. bueno. Sí, es sí. muy bonito. Es muy bonito, muy sí. Muy bonito y es muy extenso. Sí, sí. Hay muchas cosas que puedes conocer? hacer, sí, que conocer, sí. sí, sí. Hola. Hola. Y hoy en día compré este sombrero. Ah, Bonito, sí. ¿sí? Yo también. <risa> ok. Necesita sombrero sí, porque, porque hace el calor. Sol. Muy calor. Fuerte. Sí, calor. Y estás muy quemado. Sí. Y sí, sí. a mí. Muy rojo. Okay. Muy Mi nombre es Tyler. ¿Y usted? Tyler, Celia. Celia, nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, Dana. Dana, mucho gusto. Tita. Me, me llamo Ta Tita Tyler. <risa> y soy. Uh, soy uh, grabando video de YouTube, soy youtuber. So. Ah, YouTube. Sí. Te vamos a buscar. Sí, vamos sí. A buscar. Mi nombre en YouTube es Big Time Bentley. Ok. Ya, yeah, sí. Te okay. vamos a buscar para seguirte. Sí, gracias. Bye. Ok. Cuidado. Adiós. Y que estés muy bien. Ah, igualmente. Bien. Adiós. Bye. 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 Yeah, so they're visiting here too. Very nice family. But let's go over here. So many examples on this trip of how nice and welcoming and friendly Mexican people are. I don't need to keep saying it, you can see it, but it's very true. And I really don't like the image that Mexico gets in American media. It's not a fair image. If you're gonna judge a country, go there first experience it yourself don't trust what the media is telling you about this place is dangerous or you're gonna get robbed or murdered here it's all i hear from a lot of people and you know what those people generally aren't the happiest people when you thrive on talking badly about a place that you've never been or talking badly about a place because of one bad experience you had in one specific place. You can go to Los Angeles in the wrong neighborhood and have a really bad experience. Does that mean America is a bad country? The church. Very nice. As I said yesterday, it was very crowded. Lots of people here. And I asked a Mexican lady what's going on. She told me it's the Santo Domingo, the holiday or the day of Santo Domingo. So. Of course, as you probably already know, I only understand about half of the Spanish I hear, so. Sometimes things go over my head. Señora, ¿vives aquí en este barrio? No. no? ¿Sabes que es un barrio seguro? Sí. Sí, muy seguro. Es el barrio de Xochimilco. Sí. Ajá, de Jalatlaco. De Jalatlaco, sí, es muy seguro. Sí. Y hay, la gente son muy amables y... 
¿Sí? Sí. Ok, gracias. ¿De dónde eres tú? Soy del estado. ¿De soy este del estado? estado? Pero soy de la región de la costa. Ah, ¿cómo cerca de Puerto Escondido o qué? Ajá. ¿Sí? Ah, es bonito. Como a una hora de Puerto. Ah, ok. Muy uh -huh. bien. ¿Y estás aquí de vacaciones o qué? No, aquí trabajo. Ah, oh, trabajas aquí. Uh -huh. ¿Y, ¿Y cómo te llamas? Gisela. Gisela, Tyler. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Que te vayas bien. Gracias. So she said this area is really safe. Um, people here are very nice. I just really like it. It's so beautiful. I think we're gonna turn around here on a little journey of Halatlaco. Halatlaco. All right. Okay, no. Buenas tardes. También me gustaría 20 de mobro blanco, por favor. Sí. crepe here last night at this La Casa de Calaveras. It's cool. And the artwork is very cool. I really like Oaxaca. I mean, I could spend significant time in Oaxaca or in um, what's it called Oaxaca or in Mexico City I could spend significant time in both I think they're both very nice and they've both got really good qualities If you're thinking about traveling to Oaxaca, I'd say I definitely recommend it. When you get in, the airport's about 20, 30 minutes away from Oaxaca Center. And then once you're here, you can go do things like the other videos I've made about Hierve el Agua and Monte Alban, the archeological site. And also a lot of people go from here to Puerto Escondido which is a really cool place and I haven't been there but I heard it's a really nice beach there on the Pacific and yeah a lot of cool things in this area in the state of Oaxaca and every Mexican person says that Oaxaca has the best food in Mexico and you already know how good Mexican food is so when they're saying it's the best food in Mexico you ought to just book your flight. I'll admit that I'm a little bit lost. Not quite sure how to get back to that place. Actually, I think I found it. It's, it's actually kind of interesting. You sort of use these pieces of art as like landmarks or like you know directional things that allow you to to know where to go
like it here. Safe to say I like it here. I'm really glad I came to Mexico. A little bit of me was like, what am I doing here? Is this worth the money? But I'm done being concerned about, you know, money and the cost of things, whether it's worth it. If you can do it, just go do it. And then you'll make the money back. But the experiences you're gonna cherish forever, so just do them. So we're going back to that lavenderia, which is really that that nice lady's house. Pretty good deal on the laundry there. There was this guy named Neil. You saw him in the in the other video, Nieve del Agua. He speaks very good Spanish, fluent Spanish. And I saw him outside of this lavenderia. So I was like, oh. That must be where the good deals are. Oh, yeah. oh dang. I'd be remiss if I didn't show you this old Mustang Cobra. My grandma had a Mustang Cobra. A 99 Mustang Cobra. This is sweet. A little bit dirty, obviously. A little bit old. I wonder what year this is. That's cool. Got the Oaxaca license plate. I don't know much about cars, but... I know that the Mustang Cobras are fast. Looks like someone broke the window here. Dang. I if they're trying to get inside, I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> I hope people don't look at me like, what the, why is this guy filming this car? Just wanna see it. I wanna show my grandma. Gra hey, grandma. <laughs> Once again, we're going to go in and get the laundry. Earlier it wasn't ready, but now hopefully it is ready. Ojalá que sí. Look at that vicious dog. Hola. Hola, Gracias. Buenas. Beautiful house. Huh? Su, su casa es muy bonita. Gracias. Sí. Oh, necesito pagar, sí. Sí. So, es 40 y qué? 48, creo que había. 48. Ok. ¿Cómo se llama el perro? Boste. Boste? Hola, Boste. Es, es simpático? Mm, más o menos. <laughs> más o menos. Más o menos. ¿Qué, ¿Cómo se llama este es animal? Perico. 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 Ya está otra. Ah, hay otra. Sí. Muchas gracias. A ti, a ti te muy bien. Ok. Alright. Got our laundry. It cost. 48 pesos and I gave her 65. Yeah, I think it is more of a tipping culture here versus somewhere like Southeast Asia where you're almost never expected to tip. You're sort of expected to tip here. This is a cat coffee place. Who lives here? Ochos? Y la 